George. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk about uh, the main topic is marriage. Mm -hmm. So over to you, Mr. George. Now, um, introduce yourself. <laughs> My name is Josh, and I'm from Quezon City, and I'm a marketing officer and also a professor in the college. Okay. Uh, Mr. George, mm -hmm. actually, it's mm -hmm. nice uh, meeting you. So, nice meeting you also. Okay. So right now, we want to talk about a particular topic, mm -hmm. marriage. You know, marriage is a something that uh, we all have to go into. So we don't have to go into details, but we just have to talk about it mm -hmm. because there are some guys men mm -hmm. boys i guess outside who are willing sometimes one day mm -hmm. they want to go into marriage likewise you also mm -hmm. or are you married no no okay so can you please just tell me a little about marriage before we go into details marriage for me is a big sacrifice you, you if you are married already you have to you do have a lot of responsibilities okay and as a filipino um there's a lot of sacrifices if you are married and uh, yeah it's a big sacrifice it's a uh, marriage is a sacrifice and combination of responsibilities okay before we go into details mm -hmm. can you please explain just tell my viewer mm -hmm. the challenges you meant what what are the challenges of marriage challenges of marriage number one is for me, if you have secrets, okay. uh, not all the people, if you are marrying this per person, um, they, we, they, we have different dark side or dark part. So you need to understand. Do not dig deeper with, that, with the secret of your partner. Okay. If you do that, you can see that you can see your partner. You need to understand each other. You do have dark secrets from the past, but now focus on your future, focus on your goal. Okay. Because you are married already. Okay. So, what what I'm trying to understand here mm. does it mean is it really good, for instance, to share all your secrets with your partner? Mm. It is good if you establish an open conversation or open communication with your partner, but. If you did not establish an open communication and you have a lot of secrets before you marry, mm -hmm. it is not good because when your partner will be discovering this dark side of yours, yeah. they will be maybe they maybe they will be surprised or they will be backing out. It depends. It depends on the situation. Okay. It depends on the understanding of. It depends on the understanding between you and your partner. That means. Sometimes you have to lie. Mm, um, I'm not into lying. No, but no, no, no. It's just like a conversation mm -hmm. because you know sometimes there are certain things you have to bring out. Mm -hmm. Either it will lead to destruction or it will lead to good, something mm -hmm. like that. So in this case, does it mean you have to lie to protect your marriage? Lying is a big sin, but like what you've said to protect your marriage mm -hmm. sometimes you do white lies because it is part of the marrying stage that you need to be to build this relationship stronger okay. and you are need to hide these things for you to not to be disappointed your partner will be not disappointed at you and for you to grow okay. both of you okay all right that is nice so let's go into the secret of marriage mm -hmm. like the secret one what's the secret of marriage secret of marriage it is like spices in the food there's a lot of spices that you need to remember and understand always to have a happy marriage life or have a happy relationship it is like in mixing a um, food to be for you to have the masarap or delicious food you need a lot of ingredients not totally a lot um, sacrifice preparing it wisely you're prepared enough and before you serve the food 
um, the number one ingredients, important ingredients there is love. Love. Okay. Let me ask the question. Now, she wants to build a happy marriage. Mm -hmm. How can you build a happy marriage when there's no money? There's no money. Yeah. It's very important. Mika mabu buhay ng walang pera. Nowadays, money is very important. But money is also second part when it comes to love. Why did I say second part? If you really love this person, you will understand this. Even though he or she has no money. As long as you love each other, you will be helping each other also to have money. Again, marriage is a sacrifice. Relationship sometimes is a sacrifice. Now, if you both don't have money, you need to do something to have money, to sustain your needs. Okay. Because marriage life is, um, again, there's a lot of responsibilities. For you to grow, grow with your partner, success with your partner, you need to do something. And for you to have a happy relationship that involves money, you need to do something to feed your uh, future children. If you have children, with plans to have a family, you need to do something. So let's go to the secret two of marriage. So what are the secret two of marriage? Secret two. Um, understand. You need to understand each other. Sometimes we do have um, may nagagawa tayo na hindi natin sinasadya and we have to understand that because we are in a married stage already. You need to marry this. Uh, you need to understand this person because you love her. Or you need to um, you need to understand this person because you need her. For you to have a strong relationship or a strong marriage or a strong um, status um, sorry marriage status in your life, you need to have a mutual respect and understanding. Mutual respect and understanding. Mm. Okay. So what of uh, let's go to secretary of marriage. What Secret do you have to say? That. Uh, the secretary in marriage is um, aligned with the second one is respect. respect. Even though you are in a relationship already or in a, yeah. you are married already, you need to respect the different uh, part of your partner. For example, if you are your partner is not totally ready in one thing or not uh, he or she is not ready to share with this dark side, of him or her you need to respect that and wait for that for you to make comfortable to each other and for you to have this mutual respect okay. so let's go to the, uh, the secret four mm -hmm. let's four. the four secret four is for me number four secret is um giving time Time. time is very important for example I will give you an example brother um, you set a date with your partner then you said it's 10 in the morning okay. then you arrive 11 in the morning time is very important why it means a lot it means sacrifices Wait. what of if something happen on the way like maybe traffic traffic yeah or something maybe where you are going you have a flat tire something mm -hmm. like that you will do everything because you are all at first you are aware that you have a meeting with them or with you have a date but you know yeah I understand. That everything happens for a reason yeah you know other things you doesn't plan for it like maybe you have engine failure you doesn't plan for it mm -hmm. you have a flat tire you doesn't plan for it you meet traffic on the way you doesn't plan for it so all those things can happen at any time then do something. Do something like what? Do something. If you have the flat tires, case to case basis. If you have a flat tires and you have a phone, you have a load, of course. Okay. Inform her yeah. as soon as possible. And then um, if you have an um, application that can help you mm -hmm. for you to meet the time, do something. Because you love this person and you are aware that there is a specific time. Time is very important. It's all about sacrifices. If you are not willing to sacrifice with your girl, marriage or married is in marriage is taking a huge risk why 
taking huge risk is you have to you need to be ready facing those challenges and obstacles in marriage okay you need to accept the fact that there is no perfect marriage okay you need to accept also that there is no perfect partner you need to help her or you need to him to grow and to do something you know, you know in marriage kasi maraming pwedeng mangyari maraming magba pwedeng magbago maraming may kasabihan sa atin na makikilala mo lang yung isang tao pagkasama mo na okay. if you are with this person in a house now you are taking a lot of risk because you are giving this person settlement all of this sacrifices now like what I've said it is a very huge risk yeah. you need to face this whatever it is and you need to be ready to face it to face it okay yeah I understand marriage is, everything is everything in this world in this life is risk you risk yeah but you just have to take it mm -hmm. that is it all right okay Let's take the night so that uh, we will just run it up. Mm. Take uh, what, is that, what 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 can you say about the secret nine of marriage? Secret nine in marriage is yeah. you need to be ready in a war. That's the number nine secret. Maybe you need to be ready in a war. Like what I've said, whatever it is, you need to be more ready and careful. A war because there's a lot of um, changes. And there's a lot of problems that you will both be facing. Okay. And uh, you are now in a family stage. You are planning to have your own family. So be ready. You know, war when it comes to money. War when it comes to attitude of your partner. War when it comes to you financial sure obligations. You, yeah, you talk about you talk about something financial obligation. Mm -hmm. You know, this is uh, during the time of pandemic right mm -hmm. now. The world is facing mm -hmm. chaos, challenges, mm -hmm. many, many things. Mm -hmm. Economic meltdown, people are complaining, their business is not moving forward. So now, for instance, as a man or as a wife, now you came to your husband that, ah, please, I want to buy this pair of shoes, for instance. And the man said, the husband said, ah, please, I don't have money. Oh, so, you need... For me, you need to understand your partner. Intindihin mo na wala siyang pera. Okay. Again, it's a sacrifice. If your partner has no money, then you need to sacrifice. But then, you need to help each other para ma-sustain yung needs nyo. And for you to grow. Because yeah. money is very important right now in yeah. this time of pandemic. Without mm. money, you cannot do anything. Yeah, and um, when money talks, everybody listen. Yeah. I believe in that. But in marriage, when we involve the money, it's a part of that you are sacrificing also. Part of a risk also. Okay. Because you are giving a... Um, you need to buy things. You, don't, you cannot buy things if you don't have money. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. That's part of marriage. Money. Money is very important. <laughs> Yeah. But as long as you, again, understand each other, you are helping each other. Money is second part. That you can say, you can tell to yourself that money can. Yeah, we need money every day to buy some stuff. But one, that's one of the material that we can use. Um, we can need to. Um, kailangan intin. Sorry, no one are you ano? Kailangan mo intindihin if walang pera yung partner mo kasi that's the second then eh, second sacrifice in life. Okay. So <clears throat> so now what is the advice that you can give to those youths mm -hmm. boys and girls who are eager to go to marry because they want to marry because they want to belong. Mm -hmm. What is your advice you will give to them? That's a very very exciting question for those who are listening right now. Um, do not be in a hurry. Do not be in a rush in marriage. Just be always focus on your goal. When you meet this person, or you, this person, if you want to marry this person, be prepared. Not only financially, but all the sacrifices. You need to be prepared. Okay. And prepared enough, because 
again, marriage is like a war. It is. It has a lot of obstacles and challenges. Yeah, that is you will face a lot of things. That is marriage. Yeah. So for those young girls and boys who are listening right now, do not be in a hurry. Take time. Enjoy the moment. But if you are there already to a, set, to a settle down stage, you want to settle down, make it sure that you are ready to face these responsibilities. Okay. All right. Uh, what's, what's more, welcome to my YouTube channel. So my name is Julius Alagba. So we are today I'm here in Bulacan, in uh, Mizos uh, Kishinet. So here with uh, Mr. George, the Amsol uh, Filipino guy. So thank you very much. Thank you time. very much for the time. So uh, what do you have to say to my viewers? Like. Do you have a shout out to give to them? Mm -hmm. Shout out to my students and to my families who are listening right now. So what is the name of your school again, sorry? Um, the school is St. Dominic's Harvey College. Okay, what is St. Dominic? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And uh, please subscribe to, the, to Julius' channel. Okay. And comment down below. Alright, so any other channel you want to shout out to again? Uh, my YouTube, the, my brother's YouTube channel. It's Patrick Bueno Obra. Please right. like and subscribe. Okay. So thank you very much for thank the time. Thank you very much. Uh, hello guys. Anytime you visit uh, Bulacan, we have uh, uh, kitchen nets around Bulacan. I think the address is uh, 0054 Santa Rosa 1 uh, Marilao Bulacan. Mm -hmm. So you can visit here. We have so many things in stock. We have chicken wings. We have uh, any drinks of your choice. Thanks.